welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are doing a cooking with Megan Finn. Finn is over here. You oh, can't sorry. see him, but now you can see him. Um, so today we're ha we're having our most eaten dish that I've ever made for you. Like just yeah, right. pesto pasta all the damn time. Because you don't like red sauce, so always pesto. Yeah, but I, don't I like pesto. It's not good with me. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the best sauce. Either that or it's butter and cheese, and it's just not as fun. Also, in one of my vlogs recently, somebody was like, "How do you make your pesto pasta?" And I was like, "You just make the pasta, and then you pour <laughs> pesto in it." Um, so we're gonna be spicing it up today by putting in some vegan sausage. If you're vegan and you don't eat field roast sausages, I just don't even get it together or. You're doing it wrong. Good thing it was in the packaging. Yeah, they're very slippery. I like the Italian ones. They're incredible. And then on the side today, we are having artichokes because they're Finley's favorite vegetable. And he put me on to the dang, yeah. <laughs> to the gas. Yeah, they're very good. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm gonna go through the ingredient list first off so you guys just know. So you need your pasta, obviously. Two artichokes, unless you're dining alone. You're gonna need your Parmesan cheese for the pasta aftermath. A lemon, your choice of pesto. If any of you have any homemade- the pasta aftermath, you said. That. Yeah. Uh -huh. If any of you have any homemade pesto recipes, let me know, cause yeah, that would be we'll freaking- We'll up in the version too. Yeah, that would be next level for us, <laughs> making our own pasta. And then you obviously uh, need some butter. This is for a surprise of the artichoke sauce Tell that we'll book. get into later. So you just need some butter and then you need an Italian field roast, sausage, and salt to salt your water. I already started boiling the water while you were downstairs so I could get a little head start. And, I think um, that's great because I hate waiting for water to boil. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that bad boy in there right now. How are you today? <laughs> well, you know me. I always feel better after I get to, get to some work down in the basement, so just did some grinding, grinding some slats into my wrought iron ring. I'm turning into a dresser, refurbishing. And uh, then I sanded some pieces of pallet that I broke down from the free section in Craigslist, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal section here at Oregon, <laughs> especially. And then, uh, what else did I do? And then I'm working on building a speaker box for the speakers, which I'm taking my car speakers from my old van and turning them into home speakers. So I'm doing that today and then building some boxes to actually put the speaker in. Freaking incredible. Yep. It's been a good afternoon and a very lazy, unproductive, and procrastinating morning. <laughs> but productive, alas. Yes. I just set the timer for seven minutes because it's just taken that long to do the old pasta. But what the most important thing is putting the artichokes in now because they take so freaking long. How long are again? 30 or 45? They take 30 minutes, 30. which is a while. So we're just going to chop right off <laughs> the um, stem there and then just throw them in the water. And any of the bad, stupid stuff that has been touching them will just boil right off. So you don't need to worry about rinsing them. The bad, stupid Did stuff. Did you ever put that in the compost, yeah. please? It's kind of hard to submerge them fully, so you're just gonna need to like do your best and just kind of hit them a lot and then <laughs> cover it with the uh, top. And they'll just do their thing. Yeah, the there. covering of the top definitely keeps the steam in will help. Yeah. And you can have that, you know, like a regular to medium to high heat, you know, just whatever. <laughs> he thinks I'm so funny today. Oh, that was just such a range. <laughs> like, oh. artichokes are good. <laughs> just though it's somewhere between three and eight. And, <laughs> and you're good. Okay, I'm going to designate jobs for you because I feel like I've been doing a lot. And I uh, want... Yeah, I can't say I've been doing anything. It can't be cooking with Megan Finn if Finn's not doing anything. Should I cut these up? Yeah. How do you want this? Should I do, oh, can I do little bites? Yeah, so you do it like through the middle oh. and then, um, yeah. I'm gonna give you guys a nice close up. Yeah, give a close up. So I'm doing the little crisscross cuts. Kind of like you would cut a celery or something. Yeah, like something. down the middle and then across. I cut it down the middle and on the side. Yeah, Maybe just a little chopperoo. It falls like a little bit apart. Especially this but brand, but it's a very good brand. Yeah. And they're made with like potatoes and fennel seeds and um, sun-dried tomatoes and just a bunch of other really wonderful 
things. Just so good. I we think could these eat them. Bites will be delicious. I think so too. I think adding them to the pasta is next it, level I for think us. These bites will like is a great shape to fit into pasta because it'll disperse really evenly. You're looking like Emeril over here. Do you Who's know who Emeril? that is? He's a chef. He's oh. one of those famous TV chefs. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm Guy Fieri. <laughs> I'm cutting up some sausage. I'm making the pasta ready. Shit. I'm Guy Fieri. Array! We got a steamy McGee over here. It's Steam City. We got three minutes left on the pasta. She's looking gorgeous, and I don't want to steam out my lens, so I'm gonna put you guys back on the old, uh, what do you call this thing? It's a tree pod. Oh, it's one of those tree trunks. Okay. Yeah, shut up, you tired. Shut up, you pasta. We don't care. I'm draining the pasta. One to let them know. Okay. Listen, I don't want to hear it. Okay, I don't want to hear the whole yeah, turn the heat down for sure. Oh, wow, thank you for letting me know that that was still on. Throw your freaking pesto in. Of course I wanted it in. Oh yeah, let's get this all in here. I was thinking actually instead of putting the pesto on the pasta, we could just bathe in it. Or we could dip the pasta in the pesto. <laughs> what if every piece of pasta were like, and then you just dip? <laughs> just dip her in. And you're good from there. That is looking good, failures. Our pasta is gonna be waiting here for us. Okay, now I'm gonna rave about this pan really quickly. This is our Mavial steel pan that we have seasoned and she is now blackened. We use this damn thing every day. This was easily the greatest gift of my 2017 and it wasn't even a gift to me. It was a gift to Finley. He had these pans at his family house and then he asked for them for Christmas and just thank God for you, babe. Cause I Honestly, really... all they are is like those non-stick pans you get for cheap. You can, these are like 80 bucks or 90 bucks or something. Non-stick pans at Target are like 20 bucks or something like that. All you gotta do is season them really easy. Just basically cook some oil onto it real hot, either in the oven or on the stove top. And then it's naturally non-stick without any crazy toxic chemicals. And it just, it honestly works so, so, so much better than other pans. So I really recommend. Is this called sauteing? Yeah. We're sauteing our sausages now. Sausages. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Mouth with me, ready? Sausages. <laughs> Probably not with your lips in the frame, honestly. <laughs> so you kind of fucked it up. I fucked it up. You fucked it up. This is how you just kind of, mm, get them all the Flipping it, whipping it, with the wrist, flipping it back, throwing it back again with the wrist. You artichokes getting so crazy in there. For reference, it's at seven on the meter. Medium to high is about well, in the seventh range. Well, you just range, want to keep it at boiling, right? Wouldn't yeah, it's, it's boiling. Wouldn't that just be easier advice for people who have gas so uh, to oh, yeah. make it all encompassing? Wouldn't it be easier to say like? Yeah, just put it, it in the boiling water and keep it boiling the whole damn ass time yeah. for 30 minutes. Keep it at an even boil without having to come check on it every 10 seconds, whatever that is. Whatever that means for you, <laughs> we don't know your journey. <laughs> <laughs> now we combine the two, throw them together. Mm. Mm. See, these pans are very easy to clean because yeah. you only have to get a paper towel to wipe out the oil that was in it. Yeah, whatever residue, they're so awesomely non-stick. You literally just wipe it out with a paper towel like this and you are good to go. You just throw it back on, on the range, oh, walk away. No need to fucking deal with that thing later. No need to soak, never heard of it, not with this thing. Break the wrist, walk away. This is the awesome well, I was trying to get some close-up shots of your pretty face in this pasta. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, boy. We have served her, but, you know, if you wanted this to be a vegan meal, you can make vegan pesto. Most pesto has Parmesan in it. Um, obviously, the sausages are also vegan, but and in this eggs. household, we love cheese. Put a lot on. Here, keep just like a heap in the top. I'll make it a little zoom into that. Oh yeah, we're coming in. We're coming in hot on the Look grating. You. Can you focus up, you auto? Oh my gosh, this looks horrible. You could tap the screen if it's- I'm tapping. Okay, I'm zooming out, I'm zooming out. That was a mistake. Okay, we're back in focus with a little zoom. If you smile at me, it distracts me, so I have to look at your face. Okay, okay, that's a pretty good amount of cheese there, baby. More or less. 50 times more, please. Okay. You can actually just throw the hunk on, it's fine. <laughs> just grate it out. <laughs> it looks like I was just like... Huh. I used to actually do that. 
at my house in Georgia. Take bites I of. Just like go and get, grab one out of the cheese drawer and be like, oh, just like put it back. Disgusting. You're like my little sister. My little Wild. sister loves cheese. She loves cheese so much. I always told her she was gross for it, but she's actually a cute little stinker. Cheese fans are stinkers because stinky cheese is most of the time the best cheese. Am I right? That's a stinky cheese right there. Yeah. Oh, that was a good sneeze. Do a little dance for dad. Okay. Do a little dance for dad. Okay. I love you. Boom. Oh, that's okay. 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 Oh, that's okay.
creme right? de la creme. It's the creme de la creme. Maybe be a better expression. So on this note, we're gonna indulge now. Most likely gonna be a 25 out of 10 and I'll let you know after we eat and I'll do the outro. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching Finley and Meg's cooking. We'll talk to you later. TTYL. I got the gas and the choke. I don't eat lemons alone. All right guys. <laughs> In conclusion, uh, the food was really good, I'm stuffed as heck, and I would recommend that you guys make this for yourself, for your mans, for your woman, whatever you please, you know? And if you make it, let me know on Twitter, or Instagram, or in the comments of this video. I don't really freaking care, just let me know if you make it because that would be nice. And let me know also in the comments if you would like more cooking videos, or baking videos, because those would be fun and people always suggest that I make cooking videos, you know, healthy vegetarian meals, that whole kind of thing. And I have like a handful of maybe five that are my go-tos, so I can share those if you want. Um, so yeah, let me know. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And until the next upload, <laughs> stay smiling. Bye guys. Almost freaked it up there at the end. Oh, and go check out um, Finley's channel too because he has a new music video up filmed by yours truly. <laughs> were, you, were you zhuzhing your hair? I was, what's it called? Zhuzhing? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we we just just. What is that? How do you spell that? Um, with a J. <laughs> Did you know this has a full vegetable, a full serving of vegetables per three and a half ounces? That's why we're eating it. And it's already boiling. Steve, why are you dropping everything, man? I have no idea. Your slippery hands, McGee, over here. Um. Well, we're so. Ah. Uh, <coughs> Whoa. Fruit. That wasn't sanitary. I gotta go take a shower. That specific one needed to flip and it wasn't. It was being crazy, bro. You should have seen that sausage. If you were like the pasta I met back in seventh grade, you'd be down by now. <laughs> Paper towels, come on, so I can clean some shit up. Oh, lock the pan, we just cooked in. Let's get even. Even tonight. What are you doing? Look what my mom just posted on her Instagram. Tina Tika. Someone just went on her first bike ride of the season. It's her favorite thing in the world besides homemade cookies. <laughs> oh my gosh. She is a stunning dog. That is one stunning dog. Did you know that I love Tina Tika? <laughs> he mm. calls her that. That's her new nickname, Via Finley. She is Tika, but. Tina. <laughs> I wanna get high. So hard. <laughs> I wanna get high, so high. What just happened? I love that song. <laughs> Straight myself out. Kids, turn around. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not high, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wifey.